Another month has passed on Ravenport, and today we are going to be spending some time doing contracts. And to get to our contracts, we're going to have to go all the way to the top of the hill, right up here by the BGA. We have two contracts right beside each other, which hopefully won't cause us too much trouble. This field is canola, and it's ready to be harvested. We need to harvest it. Then, down here at the bottom, this needs to be seeded. Oh, yes. I wonder how long it'll take a three meter seeder to do this. I'm kind of at a bit of a loss as to what equipment to use for which thing, but I think that at the end of the day, this tractor right here is the best tractor for doing the seeding contract. It could turn around easily and it could just handle itself a little bit better than normal. So let's set this. Let's make sure that we set this to wheat or else, well, we won't get any anything for the contract. We'll go top off and we will be ready for seeding this field with a three. God, so stupid. I am going to enable fast farming. I don't know how good of an idea that is, but we're certainly going to give it a try. Uh, man, oh man, that, that just feels super fast. The big issue whenever we were doing this on our main farm was not the fact of it going in a straight line. It always did a really good job of that. It was turning around and getting situated at the bottom. That was the main problem here. So we're gonna see if this will work, taking a huge field as a, as a three meter. Oh, this was such a bad idea. And this is what I'm talking about. What are you doing? What was, what was that nonsense down there? Did you, did you do that on purpose or on accident? Because it looked like you did it on purpose, which means you're a terrible driver. It's like k -Bot. Well, I guess we need to go ahead and get everything else together while we're at it. I don't have a header trailer, so uh, this will just have to do. So we'll put that there. What else? Ooh, I'm flying a little bit too fast here. Let's see, we need something for carting. So this should work perfect for that. Oh boy. Um, maybe we'll maybe we'll use the Fiat for carting. Yeah, that'll, that'll work because I'm also going to be bailing. Oh yeah. And not only do I need something with power, I also need something that can, well, do this the right way. <laughs> so I guess that leaves this joker to doing carding. Good job, bud. Hope you can keep up. So here we are. We've got our cedar, which is doing just a fine job down there. Really good job there. And I got my, uh, my baler over there and we've got our uh, cart as well. The good thing about this combine harvester, it'll hold 50,000 liters. So I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, the big concern is going to be the tipper, which holds 25,000 liters. We may have to get ourselves another one of those. Uh, and the bales, we can make as many bales as we want. It's just, it's gonna be a lot gonna be a lot of bales so let's take this let's hire them up let's set the fast farming to uh yes please and let them rock and roll very cool hopefully we don't have any issues with the combine harvester or the cedar getting in each other's way oh and forgot to tell you but we're getting decent money as well for these i, I noticed that we only have 101,000. so after buying new equipment and doing all the stuff that we did in the last episode uh, the, we, we made a thousand dollars. A lot of work for a grand. Anyway, we should do pretty well here. Uh, but what are we making there? Almost, almost twenty thousand, close to it, ninety thousand. Plus, we're gonna sell all the bells. We're gonna sell all the extra canola. We're gonna make good money off this. So let's get in and start making it happen. I think our combine harvester's already at the other end. So we'll take this. We will unfold our baler. We will drop it down. I don't know. If fast farming is enabled, it is, so that is good. And I don't know if the baler's going to be picking up bales or not. We should probably find that out. I have good news. The answer is yes. All right. So now we just kind of go back and forth, rock and roll. We'll wait until that guy right there tells us that he wants to be unloaded. And we'll go unload that into a trailer. It does appear the combine harvester takes a little while to turn around at the end. So that, that may cause us some trouble in the in the end but eh, for right now it's fine whatever i mean slow down so we can get past me there you go buddy good sport caught up to him <laughs> we made a good amount of bales i mean how much of this contract have we done 17 percent of it not a lot and, and we got 74 75 76 bales off of it that was pretty good plus the bell cell points right over there so that makes things easy. Uh oh, we're coming up on a part that I feared would be an issue. Oh, but I'm missing bales. Uh, 
these guys right here trying to turn around on each other hopefully oh, no 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 back it up back it up back it up all right fair enough fair enough please don't do it please don't do it please don't do it he missed him yeah i figured with a header that goes six meters and a, and a cedar that's three meters eventually we would not only catch up to him but pass him and looks like we are at that point heck yeah oh no ai workers completed their task i knew it was only a matter of time <laughs> oh no 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 that hired a worker that was not what i wanted here we go drop him down turn it around boop, 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 boop. bam hire worker all right how far did we get through that 34 percent of the way through a third of the way through this field before we had a trouble with the worker you know what i'll take that that's good odds. We've almost got all of the bells we need. It, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't, I don't actually know how many bells that is. Uh, maybe, maybe one more, please. I can, I can has this one. That was it. 100. percent All right, let's take this, and we, I guess, go sell these. Pick them up. Go, go, go. And how much for all of these bells? I love watching those sell. That's awesome. 19 grand. Hey. Oh, uh, that's definitely worth it. Uh-oh, we got another problem down here. It seems that our cedar is moving much faster than I was expecting. It is actually keeping up with the combine harvester. That's a big problem. That's a very, very big problem. So I think what I'll end up doing is putting this guy like here. Also, it is moving super duper slow. It's almost like the update mass equals false thing didn't work on that. Uh -oh. I'll definitely have to check the uh, update mass equals false kind of thing because I thought I did it right. Actually, it'll probably be pretty easy to find out if I did it right. Oh, that, that is one heavy trailer. Uh, yeah, I don't believe that I did it right. Yeah, that, that weighs a lot. All right, we are back in now and I have figured out what went wrong with everything because I had a couple things that had gone wrong. First things first, uh, I had an uppercase U instead of a lowercase U. So that is going to cause serious trouble. Uh, setup number two, uh, I've decided I'm gonna trade this cedar out. It's a cool cedar, it's awesome, but it's three meters. And the first thing we did was upgrade our, <laughs> our header on our, all that. So I think we're gonna upgrade this now. There, there's something, it, this is a D30. Uh, we're, we're a D830, we're gonna go with a, a D40. Four meter instead of three meter. Here you go, right here. This also holds 5,000 liters of seed because I have modified it. I'm really, really hoping that through all of this, let's see, our worker, there we go. I'm really hoping through all of this, the workers are able to do it maybe a little bit better. If it, if there's a little bit easierness. I don't know. Uh, this guy's definitely rocking and rolling, doing his thing a little bit better. We have some canola here that we need to go ahead and deliver. So let's pull this slow, slow, slow tractor and get down there and sell some of this. It's just so painful going so slow. Do we have anything in the used market that may be a little better? I mean, this would be way, way better. Let's say anything through here, a little expensive, not fast enough, too expensive. That's a cool tractor. I love that. I mean, this wasn't awful. We just did a beeline and it just went straight. I didn't even need to worry. All right, so this is 25,000 liters. I think we're gonna be getting a little bit more than 50 off of that field. So we will deliver this and it should be fairly happy. There we go. Field on contract, or contract on field, yada yada. Quite complete and 51% transported. Awesome. And I guess I could just go straight back the way it came. Quick check in. We are rocking over here, man. This guy is doing good. And you can see here, it really wasn't that bad coming back. Beforehand, they've missed a lot. Not too bad, not too bad, all right. Combine Harvester is still doing good, so that is great. We got another 10,000 liters in there, and I just got a bunch of baling to do, but yeah. I got some good news. One of the contracts is now completed. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so our CD contract is now complete. Collect, 9,800 bucks. Awesome. We're also pretty close with this one as well. However, we do have some bales that have just been made that I need to 
uh, uh, deliver. Yeah, we're full. Also, currently, this and the train are the only places to sell bells, so what we may end up doing is putting a few custom sell points down around the map. Generally, I do that when I'm doing Let's Plays, so yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing. That way we get a little bit more variety when it comes to, well, oh, places to sell. The end of this harvest is near. Oh man, we've done some good money too. Look at that, $146,000 so far. Do need to hit these little spots here right at the end of the field, just so we get every bit of this. Last bell out, wha-bam! How many do we get? 76 bales, not too shabby. Now, if you are curious how I picked up all that straw from a mission, well, I'm using the Click Straw at Missions mod. I believe it's a Yost modding mod, and I love it. It's one of my favorites. Usually we get about 19, almost $20,000 for these. However, because they're so little, I expect around 10, 9.5 just as good. We've got almost everything moved back to the farm already, but there is a few more things left to do. One of those is to get all of this canola into that trailer. And it's not going to be as easy as it sounds because I think we're going to have about a thousand liters left, something like that. There's going to be some left, so we're not going to be able to sell it all today. Yeah, 1,700 liters. Maybe, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Let's jump back into here. Ah, where am I? Found it. <laughs> so stupid. Let's jump into here. Let's get this taken all the way back down there. And we'll see what we could do. Uh, I am thinking about getting another set of tippers for the back of this. Uh, they are pretty cool. They're a vertex design mod, but it's a split axle instead of a, uh, a single down the middle. Ah, thought that'd be pretty cool. Man, it matches. So that's nice. I've yet again 100% chosen the wrong way to go. But you know what? It's slow enough to where... This is safe? This is safe, right? Yeah, you can do this in real life. Totally fine. Across the train tracks? Of course. Who who would not drive across the train tracks on a slow track? I mean, a normal speed tractor. <clears throat> All right, so we got to be kind of careful with this because it is going to sell a lot of it, and it sells pretty quick. <laughs> 60 does the number. So we'll try to sell a little easy, little easy, little easy. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. 80% transported, 87% transported, 90% transported, oh my goodness. 93, contract completed, and I made $310, that's pretty cool. Uh, all right, is this the best place to sell this? Confucius say, no, We're actually getting a little bit better, buddy, far up at the ranch, so let's go back there. We got the rest of it, so 4,500 liters, let's take this over to ranch. I should probably tag the place just in case. Beeline. This should get us a decent little chunk of change. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go, $60,900, of course, of course. And then I think we need to collect the contract. Yeah, man. We made $79,000 today. And this tractor has zero turning radius. Gotta love it. Not a bad run. We've got everything back over here to the main farm now. Everything's been put away. We're at $180,000. That's pretty good. But looking around, we definitely could do better on our setup. We've got a, a very interesting flat spot here. I mean, this thing, it's, uh, I, don't, I don't think I would ever, ever use a silo not for as little as we've got so i think this would probably be one of the first good things to go uh murica so we leaving that up this is such a cool barn but i'm not quite sure that that is the best place for it and then we have quite a few buildings around here that need to be just removed they're they're all seventy nine thousand one hundred and twenty dollars aren't they seven hundred twenty seven twenty okay so eighty thousand yeah even the house is 120. I feel like we could sell all of these buildings and then create our own farmyard. Maybe that's a little bit smaller and not so spread out and possibly smooth some of this area out and create some bigger fields. That may be one of the better things to do, but fortunately, I don't think we're going to have time to do it today.